Before we get started, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to use your MetaMask wallet with your ledger to store your XDC tokens and protect them with your ledger device. We're just going to use the MetaMask wallet with our ledger and that way we can store our XDC tokens with, our, with the ledger protection because people think that it's impossible or not possible at the moment to protect your XDC tokens or XRC20 tokens with Ledger because it's not supported on Ledger Live. And everyone's talking about you have to buy a decent wallet, decent wallet, decent wallet. No, you don't have to buy a decent wallet. If you have a Ledger device, you don't have to buy a new hardware wallet in order to store or protect your XDC tokens with Ledger. You can still do it. You just have to do it via MetaMask. So if you if you have the Google Chrome browser, this is this is the easiest way to store or protect your XDC tokens um, with the Ledger device doing it this method. So if you have the MetaMask Google Chrome browser, go to metamask.io. If you haven't already, download the MetaMask extension. You can do the Chrome, iOS, Android. Just make sure you download it. Once you download the extension. I'm not going to download it in this video because I've already downloaded it, but once you download the extension and you set it up, it would give you a 12 seed word passphrase. It's not important whether you lose that passphrase because remember, we're not going to be storing our coins and protecting it via MetaMask. We're going to be protecting our coins with the protection of a Ledger hardware wallet, but we're just going to be using the MetaMask wallet as an interface. So that the 12 word seed phrase is not important in the setup, but once you do that, you put in the seed phrase and you get to the next stage. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the Zinfin network onto MetaMask. So the reason why we can add Zinfin network onto MetaMask is because the Zinfin network XDC is EVM compatible. So that means it has it's compatible with the Ethereum chain and it has a similar address to the ethereum wallets as well and there's compatibility between the two networks so we're going to click on add network and we're going to go to this link how to access your zinfin xdc account via metamask and i'm going to put a link in the description so you can easily find it and we're just going to copy and paste certain things in so the network name we're going to copy this rpc data the network name is Zinfin Network New RPC URL. It's pretty straightforward. Just copy and paste. Uh, okay, the chain is 50. The currency symbol is XDC. So we're adding the XDC network onto the MetaMask wallet so that we can access our XDC accounts and we're going to click on save so there you have it as you can see now the network that i'm under is the zinfin network mainnet and it says the zinfin network mainnet was successfully added so what you would do now is you would click on this circle thing on top and you would click on connect hardware wallet let me just get my ledger device ready on the ledger device you would be using the ethereum app it's important that you know that you'll be using the Ethereum app on the Ledger device. So make sure you have the Ethereum app downloaded on the, on, the, on the Ledger device. So once you're on the Ethereum app on your Ledger device, hardware wallet, click on Ledger and click on continue. This box with a pair, click on MetaMask wants to connect to a HID device. Yes, click on connect. And then the, the HD path, make sure it's Ledger Live. The reason why you want it to be Ledger Live is because you want it to show the same Ethereum addresses that would show on your Ledger Live account, sorry, on your Ledger Live wallet. You want it to show the same Ethereum addresses. And I'm gonna select an address. So all the addresses in the list that you see on your screen are all your XDC addresses. Remember, Ethereum and XDC have the same address format. Well, in this case, we're using the XDC Zinfin network but even though the addresses have the same format. So all the addresses that you see on your screen will be addresses that you can use to protect your XDC coins via Ledger. So click on unlock. And as you can see on this address that I selected, I already have one XDC token. 
And there you have it. That's how you can store your or access your XDC tokens via Ledger and protect it via Ledger as well. So what you will do is basically anytime you buy XDC on an exchange, you would copy any of you would copy your address, any of the addresses that you saw on the previous screen that you choose any of your account addresses you can store XDC in. In this case, on my screen, it'll be the address that's shown in front of me. I'll copy it on an exchange and I'll send XDC tokens to that address. So that's how you can st store your tokens via Ledger um, using MetaMask and you just use a Meta MetaMask interface to see your tokens. And you can also send them out as well. So if you want to send them out, you'll just paste the address you want to send it out to. But doing it this way, it's important that you also use the Ethereum app. So you'd use the Ethereum app as well. But to send it out via MetaMask on the Ethereum app, the first thing you have to do is make sure the blind signing is enabled on the Ethereum app. So if you go to the Ethereum app on your Ledger hardware wallet, and you only have to do this if you're sending out tokens um, via MetaMask, click on settings and you'll see something that says blind signing. Make sure it is enabled. And once it's enabled, then you can then send out tokens, XDC tokens, with your hardware wallet using MetaMask. And that's it, that's how you protect your XDC coins tokens or XRC20 tokens as well now, via the Ledger hardware wallet, should I say, using the MetaMask extension app as an interface. You don't need to buy a decent wallet, you can do it with your Ledger device and MetaMask and you just use the Ethereum app and you can use the Ethereum app because XDC is EVM compatible. Now, if you want to buy an XRC20 token, then you can buy the token as well. You may have to import the token. Imagine you buy a token and you send it to your um, address and then you look at the MetaMask interface and it's not showing. It's because you have to import the token. So now to get this information, if you're importing a token, like the token contract ad address, token symbol, token decimal, get that information from the team of the project, for example, or you can get it also from the Explorer page. Let me give you an example right now. Go to tokens, XRC20 tokens, and let's just look at a token like, which token should we choose? Let's see XOP token. Now here you can see, here it says contract address. You just type, paste in the token contract, contract address. The decimal says 18. You do, do the token symbol, no, sorry, decimal 18. And the token symbol is XSP. As you can see here, XSP token and you paste that in. Now once you paste that in, you can add the custom token. I'm not gonna do it, I'm just showing you how to do it. And then any tokens you bought would then be displayed in your assets column on your MetaMask screen. And you can also send out those tokens as well. So that's how you um, access your XDC via MetaMask. That's how you protect your XDC using your hardware wallet, using the MetaMask interface, and also your XRC20 tokens. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below and I would get back to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so as to not miss my next video. Take care and goodbye.